Hello, I'm Sean Rees and welcome to the introduction video for the GDS Vendor Element Analysis Tool, a free to download tool developed by GDS Instruments to allow the rapid automated analysis of vendor element tests to objectively estimate the shear wave travel time. The development of this tool has come about due to the subjectivity and current lack of satisfactory standards for interpreting shear wave travel times from vendor element test data. Given GDS Instruments' long-standing experience in providing systems to perform bend element tests, we thought it worthwhile creating a simple-to-use tool. The analysis tool will be available to download from the GDS website for a limited period of time. The aim is to share our software with the geotechnical community and help the progression towards accepted standards for these tests. We are happy for customers to distribute the tool, but are reminded the purpose of the tool is to create discussion rather than consider this the final word in automated vendor element analysis. The tool itself is an easy to use set of add-ins accessible through Microsoft Excel, allowing any laboratory to participate in performing automated analyses of vendor element data without the prior requirement of software programming knowledge. Benefits of the tool include its ability to estimate travel times using both frequency and time domain analysis methods previously suggested in the geotechnical literature, and the flexibility to analyse data taken from any manufacturer's vendor element test system, not just GDS's. Reporting of the analysis is both numerical and visual, allowing the validity of the results to be quickly assessed, as the tool still does require engineering judgment from the user. So just to recap, this tool is free to download from the web address shown on the screen for a limited time only, along with accompanying documentation, and can be used with GDS and other manufacturers' vendor element systems. For the remainder of this video, I will show you how to use the tool by demonstrating the analysis of vendor element test data obtained during testing here at GDS Instruments. Further help with the installation and registration of the tool can be found at the end of the video. The tool is accessed through two add-ins within Microsoft Excel 2007 or later. The first of these is the interactive analysis which allows a single data set taken from any vendor element test system to be analysed. And secondly, the batch analysis, which allows multiple test files to be analysed at a time if they're formatted using the gds.bes format. We're firstly going to look at using the interactive analysis. After clicking on the interactive analysis button, a window will appear on the right hand side of the screen which allows the various parameters required to run the analysis to be entered into the tool. Therefore, to use the tool, we need to load some vendor element test data into Excel. Now that we have loaded the data into Excel, we can select the parameter values we require to run the analysis. The first of these is the sampling rate, which can either be in terms of sampling frequency or timestamp. In this case, I'm going to choose the sampling frequency. The next parameter we need to input is the source wave parameter which can either be wave frequency or wave period. In this case, I'm choosing wave period. The next step is to now select the source wave and received wave outputs. Firstly, the source wave. And next, the received wave. There is also the option to select a user-specified travel time that may have been determined during any previous analysis, along with the options to zero pad the source and received wave signals, 
or output worksheets containing various calculations made during the analysis process. Once all options have been chosen, the Calculate button can then be clicked to begin the analysis. Once the analysis is complete, the user is given the option of altering the frequency window used to make the frequency domain analysis. This can be done in two ways. Firstly, by selecting a frequency range from the phase versus frequency plot. Or secondly, by editing the frequency range numerically. Also note, the source and received wave outputs can be viewed at the base of the screen with respect to the travel time estimates made by the frequency and time domain analysis methods. Once the desired frequency window has been chosen, the OK button can be clicked to update the analysis reports. The results from the analysis are output into two tabs within Excel. The first of these, the travel time report, gives numerical values of the travel times amongst other parameters. It primarily lists the file name of each bender element test, the travel time estimate obtained from the frequency and time domain analyses, and the user specified travel time if entered. Also listed are the times at which four points of interest occur within the received output. These are the first deflection, the first bump maximum, the zero crossing, and the major first peak. The report then shows a number of frequency diagnostics, sampling metrics, and some secondary travel time evaluations. The Graphs tab, on the other hand, gives a visual representation of the estimated travel times based on the frequency and time domain analyses with respect to the source and received outputs. It also shows the received outputs and the various points of interest, the frequency spectrum and the phase versus frequency plot attained from the frequency domain analysis can also be viewed along with the correlation values obtained from the time domain analysis. Finally, note that whilst only one bender element test has been analysed in this example, further tests can be analysed using the interactive analysis tool, with their results added to both the travel time report and graphs tabs. Alternatively, Multiple bender element test data files can be analysed in one go using the batch analysis tool. To use the batch analysis tool, bender element test files in the gds.bes format can simply be selected, then dropped into the batch analysis window on the right hand side of the screen. Again, the option is given to zero pad the source and received outputs, and when ready, the Calculate button can be clicked to begin the analysis. Once the batch analysis is complete, the results are added to the travel time report and graphs tabs within Excel. The final section of this video demonstrates how to install and register the Bender Element Analysis tool on your PC. 
Once the tool has been downloaded from the GDS website, the setup package can be run and the tool installed as shown. Following installation, Excel can be opened to allow the software to be registered and used. To register the tool, simply click on the register button, then enter in the required fields as shown. After clicking on the register button, an activation code will be sent to your email. Copy this code and paste it into the box shown on the screen. Once activated, the tool will be available for use until the beginning of January 2014. So that concludes the introduction video for the GDS Bender Element Analysis tool. We hope you find the tool useful, and for any further information, please don't hesitate to contact us here at GDS Instruments.